Hi, great viewers of my time. Welcome to Blessed Biafra Network. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depend on your time zone. Today, we have a great news for you here, and the headline says, Ohaneze is a disgrace. Every Biafra Sabotoa will be hunted down in 2021, Nam now, before I go on with the news in detail, I will not hesitate to say press the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we have news for you. And also the red subscribe button. It's very important. Now, in detail. Nnamo De Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, have, has stated that year 2021 is a year of hunting down Biafra saboteurs. Kano made this comment after Yoruba Council of Elders vow to protect their borders and lives in their region. The IPOB leader reacting to the statement wondered why Hanese Ndibo, Igbo governors could not stand up for their people. Instead, they are busy pursuing 2023 presidency. Says they are disgrace. He wrote, this is from Yoruba Council of Elders. Isn't this how genuine elders are supposed to speak when their land is in danger? Compare and contrast with their counterparts in the East. What have their own elders been saying? You guessed it. Nothing. For all the care, Fulani can turn a to an emirate. It doesn't matter as long as you make one of them a vice presidential cabinet in 2023. These shameless flip in Ohanese and Pandev, along with their utterly moronic followers, are preoccupied with chasing the destructive and elusive dream of Igbo presidency. They sit and hopelessly watch as the illegitimate Administrator of Imo State, Hope Ozodema, and other Eastern governors busy themselves with distributing our sacred ancestral land to Fulani terrorists from Mali and Saint Gambia. Ape Social Culture Organization, indeed, more like Ape Social Cultural Idiocy and the Capitulation. A gang of rooks without shame nor honor. Since Ohanese have sold their soul to Lucifer and are effectively willing to end the caliphate conquest of the land of our ancestors, such an organization should not exist. Ohanese is a disgrace. My humble suggestion is that a more robust World Igbo Congress, WIC, be constituted to replace the present day Mieti Ala Ron Hanezen Deushi. Every Sabo must know that slash 2021 is the year of the great hunt. Therefore, I say to all Biafra and Patros, happy hunting season. Now, great viewers, I've come to the end of this news. You've just heard it. That is exactly what is going on. S some people that claim to be Ohanese has destroyed our land. They are giving our land to some Flanese criminals from Mali, from Gambi, from uh, Niger. I wonder what is it these governors are think they are doing. If Buhari, if he's really Buhari in Asorok, if we want a land to give to strangers in the bush, he should do that in the north and start bringing terrorists to our land. He's a crazy man, but it's unfortunate that our useless governors that's why I always call them Brokos governors. But anybody with a Brokos, Brokos governor is nothing but nothing. We are wasting our time to even talk to these people that call themselves Igbo governors and Ohanese. They are full of shit. They don't have anything to offer us. Apart from their pocket, they are lunatic, parading themselves as our leaders. 
Sometimes I wonder what is happening. Our land is, is disgusting because our people think the best thing for them to do is to build mansions everywhere in the north and allow their own land to look disgusting. And when we are talking about Biafra, some of them there in Abuja who build different type of mansion will busy talking nonsense. We did not tell you to build mansion in Abuja. Your bad man did not build mansion in Abuja. He built the mansion in Lagos. That is his land. We did not tell you to build mansion in any other place. What happens to your own land? Every small thing, when they start demolishing your, your house, you start crying like a fool, like a man they caught with drug. We are tired of all this rubbish. If you guys cannot use your tongue to count your teeth, that is your own cup of tea. We cannot because of some fleeting excuses and some useless people that doesn't know they are left and right because they made the money in a dubious way. They have to build different, different things in the north and they leave their land. Tomorrow, when we want to talk about Biafra, you will be there in the north sabotaging the struggle. We will not take it any longer. Because of some few people, about close to 30 million people in the Biafra land will be suffering. That will not happen anymore. Great viewers, gentlemen and ladies, please share this news and remain blessed as you do. Cheers.